Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick look tonight um, with my Lorac Mega Pro 3. I know this one was limited edition, um, but some of you may have this palette already, and some of you will probably find similar colors in your collection just because a lot of these shades are pretty basic. I'm going to use more of the mauve shades, so like these up here, these, these three up here. Um, and maybe some down here at the bottom. So they're going to be pretty basic colors, so you'll be able to find something similar and achieve a similar look. If I could close this back up. Um, and then I'll try to link to some similar shades below so you can look at what you have. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start off priming my face just because your face primer should really sit there for about five minutes before you put any foundation or anything on it. Um, I'm using the Mineral Touch, Touch Glorious um, face primer from Unique. And um, my skin's already been moisturized and cleansed and ready for this primer. So rubbing that all over the place. Where is my towel? Sorry, I keep a towel to clean my fingers off and my brushes and it fell on the floor. Um, so we're going to start with the eyes. I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base and this is just a basic base. Looks like that. And a brush. I just use a small brush like this. I'm just going to apply that to the lids of the eyes. And my lids today are so swollen because of the allergies. Things have not frozen over yet, so my allergies are getting me problems so but we're gonna roll with it so putting that all over blending it out putting that back then I'm gonna go with a flat shader brush something like this this one's from real techniques and I'm gonna grab my big old palette and I'm gonna go with a neutral shade this one's kind of a pinky tone it's called pink cream you can find something similar in the regular, in the original Lorac Pro palette. You can find something like this in the Tarte palettes. Just lots of brands have something like this. Um, it really doesn't matter what the shade really looks like. It's just to set that primer. Then I'm going to go in with a fluffy crease brush. This one is the blending brush from Unique. And I'm going to go in with a couple of colors. So I'm going to go with tan and pecan. These two right here. And they're kind of like lighter, mid-tone, um, rosy, mauve shades. So I'm just going to dab into both of those and apply those to the crease. I'm using windshield wiper motions and circle motions to blend that in. So picking up some more of that color on the other side. And then for a little bit more draw mop, I'm going to apply a little bit of that violet gray, which is this one right here. It's just a little bit darker of a dusty rose color. And I'm going to apply that in the crease as well. And blend that down into the V. I'm focusing this one more on like half through the outer part of the crease just because it's a little bit darker. And I don't want my eyes to look smaller than they already are. Then I'm going to pick out a smaller crease brush. Um, this other one's also from Real Techniques. If you see it's been through some tough times, almost broke it in half, but this one's just the crease brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Eggplant, which is this one right here. And I'm, that's like a dark um, purple maroon shade. Let's see if I can. Like that. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that on my brush and focus that on the outer V. So that much. And focus that on the outer V and blend that towards that crease color right there. But really focusing on that outer portion of the lid. And a little bit more on that other side. 
And I don't know why opening my mouth helps me blend, but it does, so roll with it. <laughs> okay. Then for my lid shade, I think I want to go like super duper light. And I'm actually going to go with this shade white, which is a shim or not white, snow, which is a shimmery white. It's really, just looks like that. It's really pretty. Let me swatch it for you. So can you see that? It's just a basic shimmery white shade. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid again with that same shading brush. And just place that all over. Um, you want to pack that color on, so push it into the skin. You don't want to rub it. Um, I mean, if you rub it, it just looks like a more diffused color. But I really want that white to pop. Like that. Then I'm going to go into my face. Oh, I am so stuffy because of these allergies. It really sucks. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer, if this thing will focus. I guess not. Um, and this is in the shade number one, which is probably the lightest, because I have really light skin. And I'm going to go with a clean finger and just apply that to where I need it the most. So kind of this inner corner right here. And I'm going to go light on concealer, not going to cake too much on, because... My under eye creases, thanks to my allergies, are pretty bad. So I don't want this to crease too, too much. Because I know it will crease no matter what powder I put on, how much powder I put on. It's just going to happen, let's be honest. Okay, and then for an extra brightening effect, I am going to go shake this because it's been kind of sitting there for a bit. Uh, but this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. It is in one of the lightest shades. This is shade 4. This is more of like my winter shade. Not that I get much darker in the summer, let's be honest. Um, comes with a doe foot applicator. And I'm just going to apply it like that. Can you see how pasty pale this is? And I think there's still one that's lighter than that. kind of nervous about what that one looks like. And then a Beauty Blender. And I'm going to use the smaller end just to blend that out. Like that. Can you see how crazy brightening that is? Like, whoa! And again, all I'm doing is pushing that product in the skin. Okay, down my nose a little bit, chin, forehead. Um, for the face, I'm going to go with my BB Flawless from Unique. This is in the shade Cream. I love this stuff. I used to, like, really hate BB creams just because they weren't really pigmented. But then I started using this one, and it's freaking crazy pigmented. I cannot believe it. Okay. And then I'm going to go with the opposite side of that beauty blender and kind of just dab it. I start off where I need that coverage the most, so the cheeks, and then I blend it out. Can you tell how pigmented that is? Like, that's a BB cream. Isn't that crazy? Dab, 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 where you need it. And then dab the nose. Blend that into the concealer so it looks seamless. And then the forehead. I always do the forehead last for some reason. I don't know. There's people that start at the forehead. I just like to do that last. Okay. And my mirror's light is burnt so I can't see anything. But, okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm going to go all out tonight, and I'm going to use my Tartus Pro Glow Palette, and I'm going to use the color Shade. How generic is that name? Right? Shade. Uh, where's that brush? 
Sorry guys, my glasses are off so I cannot see. Okay, so it's just like this one. It's similar to what I used for my eye primer. It's just a bigger version. So I'm gonna take some product on there and then just apply it where I need the contour, so. Right there. And on the other side. Right there, and I can tell you right now it never comes out even, no matter what I do. But that's where blending comes in handy, because um, then you can just blend to where you need it. So bring that down to connect the sides. Then I'm going to go with a different beauty blender. I'm going to go with the smaller end. This is already wet, and I'm just going to blend that. Blend, 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 blend. Okay. I'm actually going to go back through with a little bit of concealer just to clean up my forehead because it came out a little out of control. Like that. I'm going to go back with the other beauty blender. Where I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a powder and I'm just using the Pacific uh, Neutral Mattifier in shade one. Looks like that. And I'm going to take that beauty blender, clean that up, and then apply that powder over that under the eyes. And I'm using it with the beauty blender just like I said. My under eyes are a little bit out of control today. Just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go in with a big powder brush, like that, and I'm going to set the rest of the face. Mm -hmm. And I can now tell that the contour ended up a little lower than I wanted it to, but c'est la vie. Okay, then I'm going to go in with a brush like this. I'm back with that Pro Glow palette, but on the other side, I'm going to go with this shade, which is kind of the bronzer shade, and it's called Sculpt. Apply a little bit of that, and I'm going just a little bit higher than that contour shade and blending into that contour because it came out a little lower than I wanted. And then on the forehead. And then for blush, I am going to go. Uh, for blush, I'm using an Eye Society blush. This is the shade Ladybug. And it's kind of a terracotta shade. I'll swatch that one for you too. If I can get it to swatch. It's this top one right here. Then I'm going to use uh, just my Real Techniques blush brush. Dab it a little bit. If you're pale like me, you really don't need that much product because this is highly pigmented. So put that on the apples of the cheeks and then just blend it towards the back of your head. Always start light and then if you need more product, you can always pick some more up. And for face highlight, I think today we're just going to stick with the Pro Glow palette. 
Um, I'm going to go with the lightest one here. It's called Strobe. Since my skin is pretty light, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Apply that. Put that away. Okay. For liner, we're going to use the Tarte Sex Kitten Liner. And I'm going to bring my mirror a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to create a wing. So I'm going to look down into my mirror and do small strokes. And then I'm going to wing it. There you go. Same thing on the other side. Oh, my screen went black. Sorry, guys. Like a soul. Um, then I'm going to fill in my brows. Oops. I'm going to take a brush like this, and then I'm going to take the original Naked palette. This is my unique cup. I love it. It's like 30 ounces of water in there. Okay, I'm taking the original Lorac palette. I'm going to take the shade Espresso, which is just that dark brown, and I'm going to use that to fill in my brows. And I'm not going to use a whole lot of product just because my brows are pretty dark as it is. They don't really need to be crazy dark. And then we're going to brush them through with some Essence Make Me Brow. I think this is the shade Brownie Brow. And I love this thing because it makes, gives me a little extra color and it also holds the brows in place. Um, and then I'm going to take a brush kind of like this. And back into that Mega Pro palette. And I'm going to take a little bit of that pink cream that I showed you before. I'm going to apply that as a brow bow and highlight. Same thing on the other side. And the inner corners. Ta da! Now I'm gonna set everything before I do my mascara, or else I end up getting that all over my face. But I'm using the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. So good. Um, and I'm gonna go with a Tarte mascara. This is in Gifted. It's okay. Um, it's similar to the Epic, but I think the Epic is a little more dramatic, so if you want more of a dramatic look, I'd go with that one. Um, and this one, I feel like I need several coats to get it to where I want it. So, see? It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. It was only $10 on FabFitFun the last time I got a box, so why not? Ooh, I'm just noticing it's been a tart heavy video today with the palette, the mascara, the liner. I do like tart, they have pretty good stuff. Just saying, their liquid liner is pretty bomb. If you're intimidated of liquid liner, um, I think the easiest thing to do is try the felt tip liners, like that Tarte Sex Kitten. Just easier to use because it's like a little marker, a little sharpie. Okay. And there we are. For lips, I'm going to try this, and I think I'm going to regret it later on in the night, but the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. I really love this color, but it's such a pain in the butt because 
when you go to touch up, then it starts getting crumbly and just gross. Oh, I just don't. I hate it. Um, love the color, but the formula kind of sucks. But first, I'm going to line with this MAC lip liner in Beach. This is so old, I don't even know if they still make this one, but we're going to use it. I figured if I use a lip liner, then I won't have to reapply the um, lip cream as often. Sorry, I know it can't be that amazing to watch me put eyeliner. Or lip liner, eyeliner. What am I saying, guys? Oh, no. And now I can tell my lips are dry. I couldn't tell before without the eyeliner. Ugh. So actually, I'm going to do a change of plans. I was going to wear that color just because I love it. But with my crumbly dry lips, I don't want to add extra drying crumbliness to them. So I'm going to skip this and use it another time. And what I'm going to use instead is my unique lip stain. Because then that thing, that sucker will stay on and I won't have to touch up as often. And this one is in the shades Shameless. It's kind of like an orangey red, but it'll look a little different just because of the beat. So... Actually, let me fix my lips. My one side of my lip is always bigger than the other, so. I have to overline this side, always. And I screwed up, okay. So that's a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my lips, ugh. I cannot function today, guys. I'm going to start with my lip stain. And I jiggle it in there. And then I wipe a little bit off because it comes off very liquidy. And what I do is I dab it in the middle. And then I get the corners. Press the lips together. And then I'm going to go to the top lip. Get some more product. And there you go, there's your red lip. Now if you went over the lines anywhere, you can go back in with a brush like this, which is similar to what I used to fill in my, um, what I used to fill in my brows, and then go back in with some concealer and you can just clean up like that. So let's do that a little bit, just in the places where I messed up. So like over here. Like that. And then you can go back in if you have a tiny beauty blender with the very, very tip. I don't have a tiny one. And just blend that out. And there you go. There is my look for today. Let me show you. It's very natural, but I think the lip really makes up for it. So anyways, if you like this look, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you don't follow me yet, go ahead and follow me. I post at least once a week. I try. 
Um, I can't get to it much more than that. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.